Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Oslo Caden. I'm Gaina. And today we've got a family guy back. Yeah, we've not and done it for a while. Apparently, Pete is not fat anymore. No, God, when was the last time we did it? It's got to be. I've not watched one for quite a while. About two, fair. three months. No. I think it's that. I think it's about two, three months. You know. Nah, I can't see it being that long. No way. Um, you check and have a look. I will check after this video and have a look. Anyway, you ready? Yep. Let's go. Pete is not fat. Oh, anymore. good boy, Stewie. Clean plate. Although I think Yes, that yes, yes. I got more of it on me than in me. Yes, that one never gets old, Lois. <laughs> Here's your dessert, sweetie. Dig in. I'll eat it when I'm ready. Hi. I'm ready. Well, time for dessert, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Big chocolate cake for Stewie. And we have something very tasty for big fat you. Bon appetit. Oh, and feel free to use my fork. I shan't be needing it. Watch me. That's it. Watch this. Oh, Stewie, stop eating like a little piggy. Maybe we should cut down on your sweets. You're starting to get a little Buddha belly. Chris, where have you been? Boy, Dad took me to a doctor to get the fat vacuumed out of my belly. What? I didn't do it. I'm just going to stay on my diet and exercise. Good for you. That was a very grown-up decision. I mean, what kind of lazy, narcissistic, irresponsible moron would even consider doing something as unbelievably foolish as getting liposuction? Who, I ask you? Who? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's finally happened. He's become so massive, he's collapsed into himself like a neutron star. Mom, can I get lipo too? Forget it, Meg. <laughs> Peter, you can't just suck 200 pounds of fat out of yourself. It, it's not natural. Come on, Lois, I feel great dropping that kind of weight all at once. You remember how good you felt after you had Chris? Who <laughs> <laughs> size <laughs> Well then, giddy up. Right to be thin. Yep. You know, uh, there's, there's something I always wanted to do, Brian, but uh, uh, I, I could never do it because I was so heavy. But you know, now now that I don't weigh so much, I I think I can. Could you could could you help me do it, Brian? Sure, Peter. I'd be honored. Well, I was wondering if I could put a little saddle on your back and ride you like a horsey. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, okay. No, I no, I, I understand. That's too much. That's okay. Freaky. No, I like Hillary Clinton. I don't care what anyone says. Ah, Peter, what's Yeah, yeah! <laughs> uh, no, 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 Bones in your ass! Come on! Ow, yeah! Ow, come on, yeah. come on, come on! <laughs> I see you! <laughs> but, Mom, it could change my life! Meg, for the last time, you're not getting plastic surgery. Why not? It's totally safe! A lot of famous people have done it. She's right, Lois. Plastic surgery is great. I, I was thinking about having Broderick take a look at my nose. It doesn't matter if your nose is a little bulbousy, or, or your eyes are too close together, or your chest is flabby. You are who you are. Huh. I think I know what you're getting at. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> hey, pal, you can't just walk in here without holy crap, it's Peter. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty. Like your girl. You look like a totally different person. Oh, this is crazy. You walk in here with your chiseled jaw and you... Oh, my. Just press pause. <laughs> Do you know anybody who's on extreme plastic surgery? No. Nah. I know quite a few people. And... That's something I would never do. No. And it's, it's really weird because it's like... One of the things where you do it, you think, yeah, look good, and then you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, well, this looks good, but this doesn't, so I'm going to have this done. And then it's just like rolls into one thing. Yeah, it's like another. an addiction. Yeah. I liked you the way you were. You're not even real anymore. You... Peter, did you get a new buttocks? I had to. My old one had a crack in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't be more angry with you. Oh, <laughs> oh holy crap. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What is a handsome man like you doing waiting in line? I need an adult! I need an adult! <laughs> <laughs> Warren Fredericks, Quahog Beautiful People's Club. Come on in front. But but all, all those people were in front of me. You haven't been beautiful very long, have you? Gorgeous guys <laughs> like us don't have to wait in line. Haven't you noticed? People will do anything for a beautiful person. Yeah, you know, come to think of it. Hi, I'm on a scavenger hunt, and I need a human foot. Well, as a rule, I would say no, but 
Okay, come in. So, uh, so this is what? This is for like a school project? Ah! 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 Raul, please take this handsome gentleman's bags to his car. Thank you. Hey, when your beautiful doors magically open for you. Actually, it opened because you stepped on that black rubber square. <laughs> of course, if that wasn't there, it would have opened anyway because you're beautiful. <laughs> beautiful people's club. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of good looking people here. Of course. This Looks is like the Simon Cowell. Beautiful People's Club. <laughs> and you're our newest member. Here's your introductory basket. It's got some scented lotions, Ferrari sunglasses, and of course, some pills to make your bowel movements smell like bakery fresh cinnamon rolls. <laughs> ah! Damn it! Oh, what happened? Orson fall down? Shut up! Just. I don't want to hit it. Well, serves you right. You spent all that time trying to make Chris jealous, and now you have an eating disorder. Just help me up. Well, you know I would, but my doctor advised me against heavy lifting. <laughs> oh, ha de ha ha What, what the, the devil are you doing? Stop it. Stop it, I'm getting dizzy. Ah, boss! Peter, did you paste a new picture of yourself yes. on our wedding portrait? Yeah, I think it looks better. You pasted it over me. Yeah, I think it looks better. <laughs> have you lost your mind? Well, somebody's jealous. Peter, have you forgotten about Chris? He needs you to help him exercise. Yeah, he finally figured out how to catch the Twinkie. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm turning you into poo. Well, I'm going down to the beautiful people's club. Guess I can take him with me. Hell, seeing us all in one place might give him something to shoot for. The Beautiful People's Club? How come I never heard of that? Lois, I, I can't say anymore. I, I'm probably already in trouble for mentioning it to a, uh... Well, we, we call you normies. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Slightly shots. Ugh. Are you gonna take that? Lois! What? Oh, Brian, I was, uh, I, I was seeing if the, uh, driveway... That wasn't even a sentence. She's falling in love with him all like over again, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I can't help it. I know, I know. He's become a superficial, egomaniacal jerk, but I've never been more attracted to him. <laughs> oh, does that make me a bad person? Yes. Yes, it does make you a bad person. Peter, good to see you. Come with me. I've got a lot of tall, statuesque people I want you to meet. What's that? Oh, that's my son, Chris. <laughs> he can't come in. <laughs> He's fat. Well, let me tell you something, buddy. If my son can't come in, then I'll just come in. <laughs> you know, but, Dad, trust me, Chris, sometimes it's better not to fit in. You're all stupid. See, they're going to be looking for army guys. <laughs> The cutaway is like you say something and then it'll cut away to like a scene completely different. <laughs> Look at me. I'm hideous. Aww. Peter, how could you treat Chris that way? You know he's self conscious about his weight. Yeah, well, what are you getting mad at me for? After all, he gets his fat from your jeans, which, by the way, I'm wearing. Oh, I hate what you've become. Why don't you go back to that doctor and have him suck the fat out of your head? Maybe I will. And then I'll put it on my feet and skate on Paul Bunyan's giant skillet to cook his flapjacks. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have to. I'm beautiful. You're not welcome here. Go away. Wow, Chris. Did you lose weight? Um, maybe. I've, I've been working out. Well, you look wicked skinny. I'm, like, jealous. Thanks, Meg. I'm jealous of your mustache. I don't have a mustache. <laughs> Do I? Oh, honey, it's fine. It makes you look distinguished. But, Mom! Now, Meg, I think all my children are beautiful. <laughs> Damn you, ice cream. Come to my mouth. How dare you disobey me. What are you looking at, you... you infantile stupid? That's right. Damn you and such. You can... you burn her. <laughs> He is so jealous. Of course, I'm beautiful. <laughs> I mean, look at me. Ah, how strange. Should watch road, but can't look away. Too beautiful. <laughs> it 
hit by an aeroplane. <laughs> Uh, back to being fat. <laughs> well, Mr. Griffin, the bandages are ready to come off. But I think I should tell you it's a miracle that you're alive at all. We did all we can, but medical science has come just so far. <laughs> now I will what? take off this protective potato head mask. Oh, right. oh Peter, he look like you. I can't believe you're all still standing by my side after what a jerk I was. Especially to you. I'm sorry, Chris. That's okay, Dad. Well, Peter, I guess you learned a pretty valuable lesson. Nope. <laughs> I was going to say, do you reckon he stays like that for the no. rest of the... No, you have to go back yeah, fast again, didn't he? <laughs> it seemed like it was quite an old episode, that one, as well, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm not sure when it was, but uh, I'm, I've not heard of that. It just came across it recently. Mm. It was quite funny. It was funny, wasn't it? Yeah, good. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for us, please. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Cheers.